Tompkins County Health Department is still waiting for results after testing its third person for coronavirus. Now that person was in quarantine when they started showing symptoms. News Channel Lines Rob Hackford joining us live in Ithaca right now with the very latest on this situation. Rob, what have you found out? Yeah, Rod and Christy, uh, since the start of January, actually 47 people have been under precautionary quarantine per the health department, but eight of those individuals have been released after showing no symptoms. Now, you may remember last month, two Cornell students who started showing symptoms were tested like the most recent case, but those tests came back negative. So there are still no active cases in central New York, and the health department says the risk in Tompkins County remains low. We do not have a case of COVID-19 in Tompkins County today. So that, that's, that's probably the most important message to, to parents at this point. Um, we are working with our schools so that they are prepared and understand that we're giving them up-to-date information so they can react and respond as appropriately. And right now, folks should generally go, be going about their daily lives unless um, they're in those, those vulnerable, vulnerable populations. And then they should be mindful and, and thoughtful about how they approach it. But they should be doing those things really related to the flu as well. Well, the health department added that they have been in touch with local colleges, but say unless you've traveled to one of those five precautionary countries, that's China, Iran, South Korea, Italy, and Japan, the best thing that we all can be doing right now is practicing good hygiene. In Ithaca, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9.